Hey, and welcome to a new video. It seems rather unbelievable to tell that there was once a shark that weighed 90 tons, more than the legendary T-Rex. A shark so gigantic that it bit off the head of a whale, and a shark that lived in all the oceans of the world. But the Megalodon was real. Very real. And for some reason, this top predator disappeared. Or not quite. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. It's officially acknowledged that the Megalodon was one of the largest predators to ever live, both on land and in water. While the T-Rex, weighing more than 9 tons, was lord and master on Earth, the Megalodon weighed more than 100 tons and reached a length of 18 meters. The oldest fossils of the Megalodon date back 20 million years. For approximately 13 million years, this giant shark species terrorized the oceans. It only became extinct 3.6 million years ago just before our ancient human relative, Homo erectus, roamed the Earth. At the peak of its existence, the Megalodon was the largest shark in the world, and one of the largest fish to ever exist in our history. It was three times as long as the largest white shark ever measured. Many fossils of teeth that have been found were as large as 18 centimeters. These large teeth also allow us to measure how huge the shark was, but they also tell us a lot about the shark's specific diet. Because the rest of the megalodon's body consisted of soft tissue, these fossils have not been preserved. So it's only through the discovery of its teeth and jaw that scientists have been able to create reconstructions of what the megalodon would have looked like in real life. An animal so incredibly large must have fed on equally large animals. And given that teeth were jagged, this means they loved meat. Their diet included huge whales like the humpback whale and other large fish. It probably even fed on other sharks and dolphins. Concrete evidence has been found of what the megalodon liked to eat. Fossilized whale bones show the cutting marks of a megalodon's teeth. In some cases, the tips of the megalodon's teeth have been found in the bone itself. Imagine what it must have looked like to eat prey as large as other sharks and whales. The megalodon must have had to open its mouth wide as much as 3 meters wide, which is big enough for two adults standing side by side. And its jaw would have to be full rows of jagged razor sharp teeth. Their biting power was unparalleled. The bite force of an adult human is about 1300 newtons. Today, the great white shark has a bite force of 18,000 newtons, but the bite force the Meg would have had was between 108,000 and 182,000 newtons, as strong as 5 to 10 times that of an adult great white shark. Which brings us back to our original topic. How did the Megalodon, this formidable, overpowering, majestic, and super terrifying shark, become extinct? The main theory is that several factors played a role in the extinction of this invincible creature. The megalodon would have been used to living in warm tropical and subtropical waters around the world. Proof of this are the fossil teeth, which have been found on every continent, with the exception of Antarctica. We know that the megalodon was extinct by the end of Pliocene Poche, that is, 2.6 million years ago. That period is known for causing the world to enter a certain phase of global cooling. That caused the extinction of a third of marine animals, especially large ones. 43% of the world's turtles and 35% of all seabirds had disappeared. At the time, the waters were filled with all kinds of strange ancestors like dwarf baleen whales, toothless walruses, and even water sloths. That meant the food chain was all messed up and the top predators didn't have much to eat. On top of that, global cooling caused glaciers to expand, sea levels to drop, and ocean space to become very different. Since sharks, including the megalodon, survived in only warm tropical waters, that drop in the ocean's temperature alone would have affected them. Their prey died out or migrated to other parts of the world, where the great sharks could not follow or adapt to the cool waters, which meant disaster for the entire species. Some scientists even claim that a supernova occurred, causing cosmic energy to descend on our atmosphere, changing the climate forever and causing a mass extinction. Keep in mind that the Megalodon was the size of a school bus. The picture you see of it makes it look like a bigger, scarier version of a great white shark. That happened because people thought that the great white shark and the Megalodon were related. The truth is that they weren't. They are related in a different way. The Megalodon is descended from a very different shark lineage, of which it was the last of its kind. In fact, we can trace this lineage back to 55 million year old sharks, called Ototis obliquus which was 10 meters long, but also another shark species, which was 105 million years old. That means that the lineage of the megalodon extends over more than 100 million years, and at one point, the ferocious creature lived alongside the great white shark. 
The great white shark first appeared six million years ago. At the time, they lived only in the Pacific Ocean. But two million years later, they spread around the world and would have invaded the territory of the Megalodon. A younger Megalodon would not have been able to beat the intelligent great white shark. The number of prey animals declined significantly. Scientists also believe that the modern tiger shark would have appeared at the same time. Which was not good news for the last Megalodon, because now it had multiple predators eating its food. The last Megalodon probably became extinct due to starvation. The Megalodon may have been the largest sea creature to have lived, but he was certainly not the largest sea monster of all time. At 18 meters, he is easily in the top 5, but the Shastasaurus and the Elite Seaths were 4 meters long. The blue finfish with its length of 30 meters, weight of 170,000 kilograms, is the largest of all and still lives in all the world's seas. Only in length is the blue finfish beaten by the man o' war. Although this strange jelly-like creature looks like a jellyfish, it's not. The man o' war falls into the category of siphonophores. The main difference with a jellyfish is that a jellyfish consists of one individual, and the man o' war consists of a colony of several individuals. But gigantic dinosaurs also existed on land in prehistoric times. The fearsome T-Rex was actually only a rather small dino compared to the largest of the Earth. Meet the Titanosaurus. In May 2014, remains of an enormous bone were found by a local farm worker in the desert area in Argentina. A team of paleontologists have excavated a total of about 150 bones from seven individuals in the area. With this, they were able to reconstruct the bones that must have come from a 40 meter long and 20 meter high plant-eating dinosaur that must have weighed 77 tons. This dino was given the name Argentinosaurus. Dinosaurs are without a doubt fascinating creatures. It's even claimed that some dinosaurs still exist since large parts of the ocean and land have not been mapped. This might be possible. The chances of running into a real T-Rex or Argentinosaurus are not, are not that high, but there are also images circulating on the internet showing giant shark-like creatures, and marine biologists and researchers are not sure whether they are extremely large sharks or perhaps baby megalodons. In the Discovery Channel's program Shark Week, we are introduced to Deep Blue, a 7-meter shark spotted in Mexico. This would have been the largest shark captured on camera but it's also said to be not a shark, but a baby megalodon. However, this is not the only sighting of a possible megalodon. As you can see from the following images, giant sharks or megalodons have also been sighted in other places. Therefore, it seems that the megalodon has found a way to survive the past millions of years after all, and since only 5% of the world's waters have been mapped, it might be possible. What do you think? Could the Megalodon still be alive? Let us know in the comments! If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up! If you want to see more fascinating videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time!